Speaks, it's Joanna. I am here to discuss um, what it's like dealing with HR when um, they tell you to go on disability and disability is not getting approved and you've used up all your vacation time and you're at the end of your rope and you don't have health insurance and trying to have them contact you about health insurance. So I'm sure most of you know that if you have health insurance and you're married, that it is cheaper for each person to carry their own health insurance through work. So that is this decision that my husband and I made when I started this job. And when we added and did all the math, it was ultimately cheaper for him to keep his own and me to cover myself and our son. So that is what we did. So I'm trying to get disability now and discuss with HR, you know, what happens with my health insurance. They said I would have it through June and starting basically July 1st, I would not be covered anymore. And for me to get back to them as, as soon as I knew anything. So I still don't know anything official from um, the insurance company besides what information that I got from my doctor, which they told uh, told him that I need to see a neuropsychologist. So basically that I'm crazy and that I need to move and exercise seriously. You're talking to someone that used to be a personal trainer and my leg press was 450 pounds. I bet you that I've done more in one summer than this woman has done in her whole lifetime. So I don't really appreciate that, but I mean, that's not going to get me anywhere anyway. It did upset my doctor a lot and he wants to have a physician review all of the information as opposed to a nurse. As far as he's concerned, nurses don't know anything when it comes to that. Um, making these diagnoses for fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. So I had uh, emailed my HR department on June 22nd, which was a Monday morning, asking for them to please send me all of the pertinent information I may need for making a decision about paying for health care for the month of July, and that I will need to look at this as soon as possible. So it was on June 30th, which is my last day of health care, which was a Tuesday, so over a week later, I emailed him again. I haven't heard back from you as of yet with information concerning my health and insurance for the beginning tomorrow. Please send me all of the pertinent information that I need so I can make an informed decision about health insurance. As you already know, starting tomorrow, I won't have coverage, and I have several doctor's appointments coming up. I was hoping you would have provided me with the information last week, and I'm disappointed that I haven't heard back from you in a timely manner. Just a reminder, I do not have access to my work email, so I need all responses to come to my personal email. That was on the 26th, on, or I'm sorry, on the 30th. That was early in the morning. That was like 9.36. So then at 8, 11 at night, because I still hadn't heard from him and I had gone to the doctor earlier that day, I said, are these emails coming through? I need information about my health insurance now. My doctor thinks I have POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, on top of fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome, arthritis, bursitis, and five herniated discs in my neck. I spontaneously, spontaneously pass out and need to see another doctor. If blah, blah company won't give me information for me to pay for my own insurance, I need documentation from you to go on my husband's insurance so there won't be a penalty. Please don't make me have to contact a lawyer to get an answer from you. I am sick and I have no support and I have had no support from you people. So on um, my email prior to that, I had also copied his boss. So I didn't hear from HR or the head of HR at all on that day either. So on this one, I copied HR, head of HR, and the general manager of the plant where I work. So thank God for the general manager 
he got back to me the next morning, like first thing in the morning, saying that he was going to make sure that HR contacted me that day. And then he hopes I'm doing well. Well, needless to say, HR still did not contact me that day. But um, the next day, HR called and left me a voicemail sounding so concerned. And how am I doing? And I just want to make sure that, you know, check on how you're doing, which really, you don't give two craps. Never cared before. He's called and left me other messages. Never once asked how I was doing. Never voiced it in an email. And the only reason that he asked is because the general manager probably made him ask because the general manager is actually a, a pretty nice guy and likes to take care of the employees. So, um, he finally got back to me with that voicemail. And then also he followed up with an email, which was nice. But that was July 2nd. So that, that's some good times. And he goes over things and lets me know how much it's going to cost. And so to let me get for me to get back to him that he wasn't going to be in until Monday, which is tomorrow, which is fine. So I went over the prices and I did let him know. I said that when you, he called, I wasn't feeling it well and was sleeping when you called. I'm going to have to pass on the continued benefits. I can self-pay cheaper than that. I'll try my husband's insurance. Please send me whatever letter I may need. And well, yes, about how short-term disability was going, that he knew that I had appealed that in his email. So my response to that was, the people at the short-term disability company have been as helpful to me as what I'm sorry, has been as helpful to me as my company has. You can interpret that. I almost slipped there. Maybe you can Google it anyway. So just letting you know that I'm sure that there's other people out there that are scared and they're afraid that they're going to lose their health coverage. And we have still, you know, some quarantining kind of stuff, and a lot of people are out of jobs and things aren't going well, and it's very stressful. You know, I've been very stressed out trying to have to deal with this. So not only do I have to, um, we're basically kind of living off savings right now. I have to schedule some more doctor's appointments to figure out what's going on with all this other kind of weird stuff. And, you know, no support from my company. As you can tell, not very much support ever from my company. And I'm sorry for all of you out there that have to go through the same thing. But, you know, sometimes you just, you got to do what you got to do and you should be number one priority and take care of you, you know, just to even heal. So thought I'd put that out there and let everybody know. Plus, you know, why not? I feel like they deserve it. I feel like my company deserves it. I mean, they really do deserve to have everybody know what pieces of crap they are and who they are and how they really treat people. You know, I don't understand also how, you know, so much they've demanded so much from me. I have to be perfect all of the time, you know, and I have far surpassed, even sick, far surpassed any expectations that anyone there had for me and my capabilities and being able to show, show leadership. And yet, you know, I can't get the same thing in return from other people, which makes no sense to me. So anyway, peeps, I will let you get going and I will see you later. Bye.